we are now looking at a major category three hurricane. Michael just bumped up to cat three winds of 120 miles an hour and clearly it is getting well organized. Look at all the red around that eye. This storm is getting stronger and it is moving due north at 12 miles an hour. So that puts the panhandle under the gun from this landfall later on tomorrow afternoon. But let's talk about the updated track. Here it is. Again, we kind of expected this really no change from the 11 o'clock advisory folks. This is where it's going. There's not going to be any last minute changes as a category three hurricane one o'clock on Wednesday afternoon just to the southwest of Panama City. Now again, you can give or take maybe even 30 miles in either direction, but it continues as a strong tropical storm even in to central Georgia. But what about the impacts on the Bay Area? Well, for the time being, tropical storm warnings remain in effect for Citrus County and watches elsewhere, but there's certainly the possibility we could see some warnings extended down to the rest of our viewing area, even though the winds are going to be nasty tomorrow. Folks, this is all about the water and a lot of us, if you've lived here for a while, have been through this. Water is way worse than any wind that we can deal with with this kind of a system. Storm surge warnings remain in effect from holiday right on up through Citrus County. Storm surge watches for the rest of the Bay Area, including Tampa Bay itself, and then a coastal flood advisory down south. So what does that mean for the area? Winds gusting tomorrow between about 35 and 40 miles an hour in the early afternoon. So in terms of timing out your day and timetables with the winds between lunchtime tomorrow and four o'clock in the afternoon, that's when the heaviest winds will come through. These aren't sustained, but these are gusts to tropical storm force. And then things begin to wind down rather quickly in the overnight hours. Rainfall, interestingly enough, will probably not be nearly as heavy inland. If you live east of I-75, you're not going to get a ton of rain out of this. Heaviest rains will likely be right along the coastline. And in terms of the heaviest wind right there, highest probability from the Big Bend back to Pensacola, for us, maybe a 30% chance of tropical storm force winds in Citrus County. I'm going to take you county by county coming up in a couple of minutes on what you can expect with the updated forecast.